What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, 20D2Wild, checking in once again back with the Big of the Day guys on my everyday carry belt from CORE. So you guys may have seen previously, I did a everyday carry of 2024. And in that video, I showed you guys a belt that I was rocking then. Fast forward, late in March, I picked up a brand new EDC belt from a brand called Core. And uh, it's phenomenal, I ain't gonna lie. This is by far one of the best EDC belts out there in the market, but also a belt that I love to wear when I'm not even carrying on the appendix or within the waistband and probably like in a bag of some sorts. It's a dope belt, it's comfortable, it looks good, it feels good, and it's great quality. So I definitely wanted to share and showcase this with you. Now, Core did send this out to me to do some testing. And then as I stated before, I've been rocking this since March to give you guys the full on experience of me rocking it for a couple of months now. Now Core does have various different belts on their website from duty belts, EDC belts like this one, competition belts, you name it, they pretty much have it. From top grain leather, the full grain leather, to uh, armor tech, you also got even nylon and as well as the multi cams, also even carbon fiber belts that they make out of their materials. This one in particular is the Buffalo Brown, I believe this is a full grain Buffalo Brown belt right here. Now when you get the belt in, it's going to come in a very, very long just strap. This one in particular is their X6. There's different ones, there's like an X4, an X5. This one is X6. And when you get it in, you're going to then get a pair of scissors and actually cut where you want that belt to stop. And what they recommend is you to cut four inches above what you typically wear. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't even think I took that, um, I don't, I don't think I took that into consideration. I think I actually did, but then I ended up trimming it. Cause right here on my belt, looking at it right now, I have it at 33 and this fits perfectly fine. I think I went up to like 38 or something and then I just started chopping it and chopping it because when I wore my belt, I didn't want there to be too much of this, you know, poking out. I wanted it to be a very solid, short little stem sticking out right there. So you basically customize the belt to your fitting and how you want it to look. Once you cut that strap off, then what you do is you unlatch this, flip it out, put the belt in, flap it down, and then screw the belt in, and then you pick the belt buckle, which you can choose any different type of belt buckles out there from stainless steel. This is their black buckle on their X6, but they have different buckles out there that you can choose from alongside as different belts that you can choose from. So you have a full on customization, gun metals, whatever you wanna choose for the belt buckle of your choosing, but there's also different designs that you can choose from as well. You can have a typical, even I think this one with holes in it, there's just different styles that you can pick from depending on which one you want. Check out the link down below in the description. I will leave you a link to their website where you can kind of just see the various types of materials, belt buckles and everything that you can you know, utilize and pick from because you can really fully customize it to your own liking and to what you are trying to do with it. Now, what makes this belt better than your typical belt is obviously the overall thickness. I mean, you can see, and I'll try to get that on camera, the difference of the thickness of your typical belt along with this one. And core, meaning, you know, the brand itself, but they also have a core patent and design within the belt that keeps the belt sturdy, but also flexible so that it will not bend and, you know, deform its shape over time when running a holster, a gun, or whatever you wanna run on it. I got a couple of notes here just to make sure I get everything down packed right, right? Our leather, carbon fiber, and armor tech gun belts are designed to support light to medium weight firearms and gear up to four pounds. Multicam, six pounds, and the nylon tactical belts are up to eight pounds. And the actual nylon web outer layer is rated to 500 pounds. So these can take a lot of weight. And all the belts are lined up with a super fiber material so they also will keep the shape as stated before. And also what I mentioned about the core, um, all the core belts are equipped with a super strong reinforced power core center that's actually the foundation of the belt. This core works to keep the everyday carry close to your body without sagging or flopping while you run your gear. Core belts are so tough that in the last three years since we began using it, we've never had a single belt break. So. And with that being said, their belts are backed by a one year warranty of normal use. So if you do have that issue, 
you got a year to you know file and speak about it and my favorite part about the belt is its adjustability you know your typical belts you run with the loops and the notches and those notches are really spaced out well what core does is it has a inner hidden track system on the belt that has these different type of little tracks one fourth of an inch spaced out and what does that do that allows you when running the belt to make those very small increments of adjustment as needed i ain't gonna lie to you there's been numerous times where i'm wearing this belt and i go in to eat you feel me and i'm on one notch and after i eat and i get bloated to something I gotta click that little button right here because it's like a little release latch right here and just drop a couple of them notches down, like literally, and then you're good to go. But I love it. I just love the sound of it as well. I love that. It's very rigid, it's not going nowhere, it locks in place, and it gives you a very, very, just precise adjustment needed on your belt rather than with belt loops, with, rather with belt notches that have the holes that you gotta drag it to the next one, drag it to the next one, you know what I'm saying? Like I like this a little bit more because you can get a perfect fit of what you need to do with it. Now also, as stated before, you have this little notch that you just lift up and that allows you to easily go in and go out. So you can also put it in there as well and let go. And if you wanna keep going, you can, or if you wanna fully take it out, you can as well. So it's very easy to uh, you know make it do what it do when it comes to that. So. A very solid belt. I've uh, been running for a couple of months now. Uh, great quality, full grain. I stated this is the full grain gun belt, power core center, core essentials. And also this is their 1.5 inch belt. They do have, I believe 1.75, 1.5. They have different type of inches of the wideness or how, you know, the overall width of the belt. So if you want to run, like I stated before, duty belts, tactical belts, you name it, they pretty much have different types of belts out there. But this is my everyday carry belt. I definitely want to check out some of the stuff that they offer as far as what they do with their duty belts as well to see how that is you know when i'm out there training and out there on the range stuff like that to carry around but a very solid belt very good priced for the quality that you're going to get with it you're not going to have to worry about this this is an everyday belt for me as well it's an everyday carry but an everyday belt that i can rock whenever i'm wearing my jeans and stuff like that but also, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm wearing sweats. I might even throw one of these on this un underneath just to also be able to holster. If I am worried about the holster not being able to grip, but majority of the time, I don't do that. But when wearing jeans, these are extremely good to go. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I wanted to share this with you. If you guys like these type of videos, we'll continue to do more gear, everyday things of that nature as well. And yeah, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all as always. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.